damage to go on going on. Right on now managing able to snipe out another hatchery, and those medevacs are gonna get away once again, leaving one of these marines to die. But those units are coming in and they're gonna try and snipe out as many of these units before they land. And now those marauders are stranded and are gonna But oh man, it looks like while Brad uh, while Dark Force was preoccupied, Bradoff was trying to snipe out that hive, and that hive is almost at halfway there. A lot of drones going down, and oh man, that hive does go down, and Infestation Pit is almost nearly destroyed. And it looks like the Infestation Pit does go down. Oh, but uh, Bradoff is mostly mined out of this base, so he's not too worried, but now he is going to be stuck on the tech that he has until he builds that lair on top, and now it looks like those Marines are starting to push in. Oh man, those Bailey's coming in also. The siege tank gets easily taken out. And those links. Oh man, those links are gonna do some massive damage over here. The Bailey's are coming in. The links are trying to take out this supply depot. But those oh, there are a lot of siege tanks over here. Supply peoples do go down, and Brog does lose his ramp over here. More supply depots going up, so he and it looks like siege tanks are gonna move back out again to see how much damage he can possibly do. He is getting a command center over here, possibly to put a planetary fortress. And it looks like Braddock Dark Force does have a lot of links, a lot of mutas. He's continuing to build. He's getting adrenal glands for those links also, and he's getting ground carapace level one and melee weapons level two. Or ground carapace level two and melee weapons level two. And he's getting a lot of links, and all of those upgrades are complete, and now those links are double deadly. And now that planetary fortress is going up, and those SCVs moving over here. But Dark Force has several units over here. Meanwhile, Braddock's one leftover Marauder just shelling away at this rocks over here. And it looks like those mutas are going to try and push in and take out a couple of these turrets. And two of them do go down. But not without the cost of Dark Force losing a couple of his mutas. And now the mutas are going to still continuously attack. And it looks like another attack going on over here from Marauders and Marines. And all oh, those families are trying to get around at those Marines. So no air can attack. And those Marines are going to get a couple of these mutas. And those Marauders continue their attack. Another hatchery going up inside the base. And those families attempting to take out as many of these Marauders as Marines and Marauders as possible. The Marauder is going to be almost able to take out that evolution chamber. The hatchery is still alive, but more things come in reinforced. And those mutas are going to be able to clean up house over here. Those medevacs unable to do anything except stand there and die. It looks like that planetary fortress is going to get started getting attacked. And there are still a lot of marines and marauders. The siege tank does go down. Those mutas are getting picked away by those marines. And they are stemmed up so they're going to be very, very dangerous. And those medevacs also have some energy in them. And it looks like more missile turrets being built. And it, oh man, more or more uh, more banelings getting morphed in. So this is going to be a very high octane game of who can explode all over the other player first. Dark Force continues this rasp on these units over here, trying to take out as many of these SCVs as possible. But that's only just going to help unsupply block Braddock. He does lose a couple, and he is mining only from these minerals that are in the safety of the missile turret. More mutas being built and more links, and he is getting Dark Force is getting a lot of banglings, a lot of zerglings, and Braddock must do some kind of tech switch if he's going to be able to stop this. And he is getting Thors now, but that is not a proper response to the links, especially mass links, maybe to banglings. More banglings getting morphed in, and it looks like Braddock trying to push in slightly, getting that siege tank siege mode over here so he can pro try and take out a couple of these units. These mutas continuing to harass, managing to take out the missile turrets and most of the SCVs, and they're going to be able to take out one of these, uh, one of the command centers over here. And Braddock is starting to get really mined out. He only has one expansion fully mining. His natural is, oh man, he's only got like 15 minerals on that, so he's going to be mined out of that really soon. And Braddock is going to be in serious trouble. He does have a couple Marines over here stemmed up, and they're going to try and take out as many of these units as possible. There are a couple Marines over here. And they're going to be able to try and take out as many of these uh, marines. But the marine medevac manages to grab these marines before they all die. However, the mutas are going to start reinforcing. But now, Braddock is starting to really push in. He's got a barracks. He's starting to get a barracks up. And Braddock turtling in slowly into Dark Force's base. And Dark Force does not know this is going on. He doesn't have an, o he does have an overlord over here. But it's going to probably get sniped out by those barracks. 
or those uh, those Marines. I'm sorry. And it looks like that Thor is out, and that Thor is dangerous to Mutus. Because Mutus taking out a couple of these Marines over here, but there are still a huge force over here, and he's putting a Marauder and a Marine in this bunker. And now Braddock is just slowly turtling up. But Dark Force does have this huge force of Lings and Banelings. And if he can just get these Banelings in and take out all these Marines, this could be very detrimental to Braddock. Braddock continuing to turtle up, getting those bunkers up. And now the Siege Tank is starting to show away at that hatch. The next week is going to die to those Marauders. And those units are starting to come in. But oh, that Thor is walking in also. And now Dark Force is just waiting for that opportune moment to just come in and kill all these units. In all honesty, Braddock's not too worried about this base because this base has pretty much done everything that he wanted it to do. He does have an Ultralis Cavern over here, but he does not have Chitness. And it looks like Braddock continuing to push in with these forces over here. Trying, and Braddock trying to, or Dark Force trying to find an opening over here to try and take out as many of these Marines and Marauders. And now there are three four Thors on the field. Oh man, this could be one epic battle if Dark Force can just get these Thors and get these Marines with the Banelings. If he can get the proper units in the proper places, then Braddock could be in serious trouble. But Dark Force is just waiting here, getting that huge number of forces needed to take out all these units. A couple of units get sniped out by a couple of Thors, but one of the Sea Shanks also do go down. And now that Sea Shank is just shelling away at that Evolution Chamber and Spawning Pool. That Thor also taking out that Spawning Pool. And it looks like both players content to just sit there. And more Banelings coming out for Dark Force. I don't know if this is a good response. Ultral is also coming out. But they're not going to come out for a while. And now Brodok has complete control of Dark Force's old base. Dark Force is getting the Chitness plating for the Ultralis, but it's not going to be able to build. Oh man, that Chitness is not going to be able to finish researching. And it's the Ultralis Cavern does get taken out. The Bailings nest does get taken out. And a couple investors coming out. And now Braddock has completely cleaned house over here. But while that was happening, Dark Force has been expanding. He is getting more uh, tech buildings all over the place. So Braddock has just killed a very soulless, or soulless base. Meanwhile, Ling's attacking this command center over here, taking out all of these uh, mules over here and forcing that command center to lift off. And now Braddock is in an awkward position. He just took out a base, but not really doing any real damage. Now that hive is getting attacked. And, and oh man, that Braddock will probably be able to snipe out this hive. And now it's just Dark Force waiting, waiting to see if where when he can build enough unit. A bungle growth does go down on the top of those Marines and Marauders. Those medevac are nearly out of energy after healing. And those Marines and Marauders stemming once again. And now those sea tanks aren't sieged up, so if he can get those units up, and now those Ultralists are coming in to take out as many of these units as possible. And now those Marines and Marauders are very weak. Oh man, this is a battle of the ages. Marauders are trying to come in. Oh, those Banelings are getting in there and just annihilating, decimating all these infantry forces. And those Marauders and Ult and those uh, Ultralists and Mutalists will be able to clean house as well as those Mar Marines Marauders. And now Dark Force just needs to push past these bunkers and just annihilate whatever base that Braddock has left. Braddock is not mining out of anywhere except his one base over here so once this base is destroyed that's that's it for Braddock unless he moves all his SCVs away and it looks like he is Braddock is moving a large force over here to try and defend this command center so and it looks like Dark Force did leave a couple links over here so he knows what's going on he, he needs to attack this area and take him out and it looks like a huge overlord gathering going on over here and a lot of links getting morphed out more tech units getting morphed out and it looks like Braddock has pretty much just abandoned the space. He doesn't really need it because he is just expanded all over the place. He did lose that hive over here, but that was mined out of minerals. It did have a little gas over there, but that's not going to be very useful. And it looks like more Banelings getting morphed in. So this is going to be an interesting game. Marines and Marauders keep moving across the field to try and take out as many of these bases as possible. They're going to try and take out these rocks over here. They did take a couple of drones, but now this units are sandwiched in but now 
Braddock has the advantage of those watchtowers, but those units are going to just walk all over these siege tanks and just annihilate these siege tanks. And these marauders and marines are going to get completely annihilated. And the medevacs trying to desperately get away from the mutas, but the, oh man, the mutas managed to take it out. And now if Braddock just destroy or if uh, Dark Force just destroys a couple of these rocks, he will have a huge advantage. He will have the mobility that he needs. And it looks like a couple Marauders left over and a couple Banglings just took it out. Another hatchery going up over for Dark Force over here. But it looks like a Command Center also floating over into the main base. A Zergling over here to block it off though. And Brow just desperately trying to expand somewhere. He's starting to get mined out of this natural. So Braddock just looking for somewhere to hold on to this game. Braddock does have a couple SCVs over here and does have that uh, that siege tank and those missile turrets guarding it. But that's not going to be enough against this large force. It looks like Dark Force has built a large force over here. And he is moving out his barrage trying to snipe out. Uh, he did manage to snipe out that spawn call. And will he be able to snipe out that queen? No, he does not snipe out that queen. That queen, queen barely lives. And now, a lot of mutas coming out for Dark Force. And he has got that mobility that he needs. And he is taking out as many units as possible. Braddock just desperately mining stuff. Just trying to mine something with his mules. He doesn't even care. He needs those minerals. And now Braddock can be in serious trouble. He does have two. He has three bases, but he is getting really mined out. And he needs his minerals soon. He is going very heavy marine marauder complex. Looks like a bungle broke does go on. The infestation pit does go or infested marines does go down to help wipe out pretty much all these units. Another bungle broke goes down up there, but those medevacs are going to be able to heal. And now those infestors are kind of useless again. Those marines and marauders just need a couple of units over here deal with this and those mutas are just over here attacking uh Braddock's base and Braddock's gonna lose another base and now Braddock is getting really starved on minerals he just has this one base mining and Dark Force is just taking up all of the bases over here just preventing Braddock from doing anything macro wise and Braddock is just he isn't mining any gas whatsoever. He's just going minerals. So he's not going to be building any more sea tanks, any more tech, any more marauders at this rate, or medevacs. And he did get a couple of these 